Well, it looks like James Gunn is really, really pushing forward with the DCU and establishing that this universe is truly, truly lived in. This coming from a rumor over on Reddit, it seems that the Teen Titans and Justice League will already be somewhat established in the DC universe when Superman comes out in 2025. It says the DC Universe is poised for a significant transformation with rumors swirling that the beloved Teen Titans have existed in this expansive world all along. As fans eagerly await news of the upcoming film, there is speculation that suggests that it will focus on the revival, the revival of the iconic team, setting the stage for an exciting new chapter in the franchise. The Teen Titans, which are a group of young heroes, they do have a rich legacy in comic books, television, and animated series. There are rumors circulating about their presence in the DCU. The concept of reviving these characters presents a unique opportunity to explore their dynamics, challenges, and growth. Now, the film everybody is expecting, this is just kind of the expectation, is that it's going to highlight the relationships between characters like Robin, Starfire, Raven, Beast Boy, and Cyborg. That's kind of the hope. I'm guessing James Gunn's going to kind of have his own little twist on it. Uh, he's not going to be writing it or directing it, I'm sure, because after Superman, we're going to get into that in a second, I think he's got something else up his sleeve. But... It seems that the revival could delve into how these young heroes navigate a world that has already seen the likes of the Justice League, placing them in a context where they must rise to the occasion in the shadow of the established legends. So these characters have already been in the universe at this point in time. That's pretty interesting. I like that idea, especially because we know with Brave and the Bold, Batman's going to be older. Uh, we Not too old. But he's going to be older. He's going to be established in the universe. We know that because they're going to be casting a Damian Wayne, which is like the third or fourth iteration of the Robin that's ever been, uh, depending on how James Gunn handles the Robins within the DCU. But we know that there's going to have at least been at least a Dick Grayson prior who then becomes Nightwing. So the Bat family is there. That is what's intriguing to me. That's what is interesting. That is such an interesting and great concept that we're going to have the Teen Titans that are out there, that are in the universe, out there to start. That's that's awesome because they're out there. But what's really cool is that there's this layer that the idea that the Justice League has also existed in universe that their legacy serves as a backdrop to the teen titan story enriching this film's plot and emotional stakes that's fantastic but here's where things get even crazier james gunn known for his innovative storytelling and ensemble cast it's being rumored that he plans to write and direct this ambitious project this film is said to feature multiple factions and extensive roster of characters pushing the boundaries of what audiences have come to expect from superhero films. With Gunn at the helm, the project promises to deliver a fresh perspective on the genre while respecting the rich history of characters. Now, it, it, this is the crazier thing. With the anticipated finale of Chapter 1, Gods and Monsters, rumored to be more ambitious than any previous superhero film, it's believed that there will also be a focus on the Trinity, Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman. These iconic figures could play crucial roles, guiding the narrative while intertwining their destinies with those of the Teen Titans and other factions. This is exciting stuff, guys. Look... <laughs> Take this all as rumor, take it with a grain of salt, but this is the type of stuff that we want to see with DC. This is the type of stuff that we've been just itching for when it comes to DC. Does this mean this is exactly what's going to happen? Probably not, but <laughs> I'm hoping it is. I'm hoping it is. This is the type of stuff that we've been wanting to see from DC for years and years and years, and we may finally be getting it. And I would be completely fine. I know there's going to be people out there who say, why does James John have to have his hands in every... He's the freaking runner of this thing. If he wants to direct Superman, and then after Superman, he backs off and then writes Justice League and then directs it, 
which is probably going to be four or five years down the line as they rush out, run at rush, run out the course of chapter one gods and monsters. That is perfectly fine with me. Let him step back, produce all these movies within this first chapter while he writes and prepares this Justice League movie. Mm, perfect. I love it. Let me know what you guys think about this because I think this is a really cool idea. Teen Titans are in there. Justice League is in there. And think about it. Think about that this, this great threat to Justice League is that monsters aspect. That the Justice League and the Teen Titans and these heroes are the gods. But the great threat is the monsters. The monsters aspect. <sighs> this could be something really cool, really different than we've ever seen before. But let me know what you think about all this in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys all think. With all that said, I'll catch you all later.